Policia e Kosovës në përmjet një komunikate ka njoftuar se ka shpalur në kërkim 6 të pandehur të cilët dyshohen për krime lufte kundër popullsis civile. Personat e shpalur në kërkim janë Qedomir Akshic, Dragan Denic, Stojan Jovanovic, Gorolub Paunovic, Dejan Racic dhe Lubisha Rajkovic. Policia e Kosovës kërkon nga qytetarët apo kushdo që ka informacion për vendodhjen e personave të dyshuar të publikuar në këtë shpalje, ta lajmrojnë Policinë e Kosovës në telefon ose në stacionin më të afrët policor. over by Serbian paramilitary police. The chilling evidence discovered in the cellar proves beyond doubt how prisoners were interrogated and then tortured. Vital evidence for war crime investigators was left behind by the police who hurriedly fled the building before they could destroy documents, photographs and implements of torture. Young children had been numbered and photographs standing to attention. What horrors occurred next may never be known. British soldiers who've been sent in to guard the evidence, including spikes, batons, broken baseball bats, and even axes. Swords and knives were also found, as well as black hoods and masks. In an adjoining room, there was an assortment of knuckle dusters, and a chainsaw had been left standing on top of a bloodstained table. Former prisoners have told army officers that many who were taken away for questioning were never seen again. We believe this to be a <coughs> paramilitary police uh, sector headquarters and it's clear from what we found inside the building that there are a number of weapons, a number of uh, knuckle dusters, knives and it would appear that certainly uh, interrogation has taken place here and from the uh, stories we've heard from the local people we, we believe that uh, uh, torture has also taken place here. As some of the items were taken away for forensic examination, officials at the Ministry of Defence said there was now evidence of many more atrocities committed in Kosovo thousands of people slaughtered in scores of massacres. Tragically, our estimates of the numbers of innocent men, women and children killed will almost certainly have to be revised upwards. According to the reports we had gathered, mostly from the refugees, it appeared that around 10,000 people had been killed in more than 100 massacres. The final toll may be much worse. The first forensic team from the UN War Crimes Tribunal will enter Kosovo tomorrow. Terry Lloyd, ITN.